Hey, what's up guys? So I've been working on this project recently and what I'm trying to achieve is putting this sticker onto a product and have it uh, materialized at the same time. And so I watched Grayscale Gorilla's uh, tutorial on how to do that and it just didn't help me. There was a ton of things that just kept going wrong. So I am just decided to, uh, I should probably make my own and I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show... Um, anyone else who might be having this problem uh, how to do it too so let's go ahead and jump right into it so I've created a 3d model and so the top half of the product is the only thing that needs to have a sticker on it so I'm gonna go ahead I think it's an OBJ file I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into Premiere <laughs> not Premiere uh, Cinema 4d okay all right perfect so we have our redshift uh, render preview here. So what this is, it's just a tube pretty much. All I've done is I've rounded out the edges here. So the sticker needs to go right down here. So, okay, how we're going to do this, we're going to delete the existing one that was already here. We're going to go create redshift material. Cool. So what we're going to do, we have a PNG of their Scentbird, uh, it's a transparent image Scentbird logo here that we're going to put on there. We're going to drag the Scentbird texture right in here. Perfect. We're going to bring this in. We're going to drag this into Base Properties Diffuse Color. And you're going to see it probably pop up right here. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's fine. It's there. Um, before anything else, and this is one of the problems that I had, you want to make sure you uncheck Wrap U and Wrap V. That's just going to create a bunch of duplicate images all over to compensate for the size of your logo. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag this material onto our thing. So you can see it's, yeah, it's down it's down here, obviously not where we want it right now. Um, we're going to create a redshift dome light. Um, perfect. Yeah, so we can see what's going on here. Okay, so you can see we've got our... Yeah, that is not what we... We need a way smaller than that. So, before anything else, we're going to click uh, the mesh body. And uh, the material here, you're going to see it comes down to uh, a tag here. And what you're going to do... It, it's set on spherical already. Um, when I watched Grayscale Gorilla's tutorial, it was set on flat. And since this is a tube, I figure it would probably be best to set it on spherical. Um, yeah, I don't think flat would work. But anyway, um, tile, make sure you always uncheck that. That'll do the same thing pretty much as wrap U and wrap V. So we're going to go back into... Um, yeah, we're going to go back into here. We're going to need to move and scale this uh, texture. So it's right down here. And so scaling up actually is scaling down in this. Um, it doesn't make much sense to me either. I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to change the offset so we can see the whole thing. We're going to go negative 0.5. Boom. Okay, so you can see it's way up here now. So we're going to go 1.5. And it disappeared. <laughs> no, it went to the back. Yeah, you always just have to go up in slow numbers because it'll go all over the place sometimes. So we're going to go 1.5 here. And we still got it. We're going to go ahead and go to 2 and two. That's about right. So, and uh, you can rotate it as much as you want it. It doesn't matter for me right now. Um, but yeah, it matters as long as it is down where it should be. Perfect. Great. So you can see right now that this, you can this the edges on this is not making it seem like it's very transparent so what we're going to do about that and it's actually not transparent at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to go to color and i'm not exactly color splitter here bring this in we are going to duplicate our png here by holding control and dragging it down and you see we have a duplicate right here we're going to bring this into the out color into the input of the color splitter we're going to bring the out a into this material here and in this drop down menu you're going to go to overall overall color 
and boom, you can see we have a completely transparent image and uh, with no material on this. So you can say, well, dang, how do we create? So uh, yeah, our diffuse colors are being used. We can't create a material. Well, we have a material blender. And when I watched, I keep saying this, I watched Grayscale's Gorilla's tutorial. This was the problem that I had. I would drag it in. And they said to put the sticker on layer one. That did nothing for me. I put the sticker on the base color and put the base color at the surface here. Perfect. And you can see it's st everything stays the same. That's what we want. Now, if we're going to material put material on the actual product here, we're going to create and bring in another material. And hopefully I'm not going too fast, but... Um, yeah, we're going to bring this material out color into layer one color here and keep it organized. I'm going to put it down here. I don't like them overlapping. Um, perfect. Now, um, that's not going to do anything. We're going to we're going to bring it in. We're going to see we're going to make it a bright red and it's still not doing anything. Perfect. So what the problem is and what you're going to want to do is under your material blender, you want to go to layer one and it's additive and you're going to want to go and check that and it still does nothing that's fine now this was the real problem so you're going to want to go in and if you bring this all the way to the white then both of your layers boom are going to be um, visible so um, yeah it's just a quick tip for you and if you want one less visible than the other um, so say we want the we actually we can't go the other way if we want the this opacity to go down a little bit for the material we can bring this down to that and now we've got a tiny bit red uh, that's a little too much that and now we have a tiny bit red we can bring that up and we have the full red so uh, yeah that was my problem it took me hours to figure that out for some reason um, but yeah, as you can see, you can add to this material. You can add whatever you want to it. You can add bump maps and all that kind of stuff, and it's going to work. You can change the roughness, the reflection. Yeah, it's all going to work. Hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit. Um, definitely um, would have saved my life if I would have known this. So I'm saving it for the future in case I do something like this again. But yeah, um, anyway, that's how you do it. So you guys have a good day, and I will see you all next time.